That one behind him, and in fact, he's now being passed by Fingal's Cave. So the Polish Raider now last as they turn out of the back straight. Master Willie in the lead from Lars Fandango and VL, then Hard Ford and Madame Gay, and behind Madame Gay, Fingal's Cave in the back market, Chubaric. Well past halfway, begin to turn into the home straight, and Master Willie and Philip Waldron leading from Jeff Baxter and VL in second place, then Pat Edery and Lars Fandango in third. Then comes Hard Fort and Walter Swinburne, and behind that one comes Madame Gay. Just over two and a half furlongs to race. Still Master Willie in the lead from VL, then Lars Fandango. Hard Fort getting closer, but Master Willie in the lead from VL, Lars Fandango. Then comes Hard Fort, Madame Gay got a lot to do with a furlong and a half to race, but it's to make up a little bit of ground, but Master Willie still has the advantage from VL up on the outside. Then coming in between these is Hard Fort. These ahead of Fingles came in Madame Gay inside the final furlong and Master Willie in the lead, Master Willie having made all the running in the corner eclipse still has the advantage from Vienna and Hard Ford, Fingles K standing on but it's Master Willie for a bullet to post victory coming up to the line, Master Willie's going to win it, at the line Master Willie is the winner, Hard Ford is second, Vienna is third, then Fingles K falling behind Fingles K and Madame Gay, then came Lars Fandango and the back marker was Chubaric and so the outcome of this, the corner eclipse Here's a win for number six, Master Willie, owned by Mr. R. Barnett, train of wantage by Henry Candy and ridden by Philip Waldron. Second was number four, Hard Ford, owned by Mr. L.B. Holiday, trained at Newmarket by Michael Stout and ridden by Walter Swinburne. And third was number eight, VL, owned by Mr. T.F. Blackwell, trained at Newmarket by Bruce Hobbs and ridden by Jeff Baxter. And so Master Willie had to answer every question and he did it with authority, style and command because he made virtually every yard of the running. But with two furlongs left to race, the challenges came thick and fast. But a disappointing run by Madame Gay. The Phyllis Hoodoo remains. Let's see the action described by Bruff Scott. Yes, Ma Master Willie had gone fast enough. Philip Warden had got them stretched. VA had run very well. She was right close there. Hardfort makes his run up the rails. He doesn't have a lot of room. Then Lars Fandango, then Fingal's Cave. Madame Gay is already being stretched two furlongs to run there. So it's Master Willie out in front. And the question we first got to try and answer is, does Hardfort, is he unlucky? Because it, one did begin to think that he might have been a little bit. Master Willie, who's been really slugging away out in front there. Here comes Hardfort trying to come for a challenge. We've got, what, still a furlong to go here. And uh, there isn't anywhere to really go for Hardfort at this stage. He's, as a steward's inquiry been announced at this stage, VA, who quite often hangs, appears to have hung in a bit to Hardfort. But we'll look at the head-on in a moment. But, but uh, Master Willie, who after all has had to do things uh, the toughest way of all out in front, he keeps uh, running on well. Hardfort now begins to get the better of VL. And the Fingal's Cave, as it is, won't really, comes uh, rushing up towards the finish. And for a moment, one thought, might almost get up to be third. But no, he can't do that. And going up towards the line, Master Willie is hanging on well. Hardfort second and VA. But the head-on will answer. Now, look here for Hardfort, the lighter colours. Master Willie's in front, VL uh, behind him, and uh, Jeff Baxter's got to pull VL off to kind of try and challenge. Then Lars Fandango out behind, and Madame Gay, you see, already a, a trailing. There are the two furlongs to go. Now, there's a, a gap. Is there a gap? Well, that's the only way out for Walter Swimmer, is to try and come out to the... Uh, between Master Willie and uh, VA, and it, the gap isn't coming. And Jeff Baxter, who's riding away in himself, uh, VA hangs in a bit, and so really there's just absolutely nowhere for Hardfort to go. And uh, to some extent, with uh, Master Willie hanging off the rails, switching his hand, his right hand, Hardfort has gone pushed VA out. And uh, I must say, it's not exactly a head-on, 